Oh, if that old lady's fu- Oh, I guess they were saying she was getting- Hmm. Hmm. That's beautiful, you know that. That's fucking beautiful. Yo, the TV's not here. Fuse is out. Door is blocked. This looks real different than our, we saw before. Hey, Ev. What's up? Ethan, it's okay. Hi. It's okay. It's me. Yes, and this is where you chop my arm off. No, you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Oh, oh shit. So this is what... You shouldn't have done that. So that's why she got wild. Oh. It fucking hurts. Does it want to be my daddy? Mm-hmm. Then he can die. Well, you can too, Snookum. Is it? Darling? But is it? I don't know if she wants me to go upstairs or leave. Um, I guess I'll check upstairs first. Just because I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. Help. Okay. That's my legs. Okay. You know, I never did go down to this door. Because it's not a real door. Okay. Or it's a door I can't get in, so it doesn't fucking matter. Ethan, help me. I will help you. Yeah, this is where you fucking... Fucked me up, baby. You were not very nice about it either. Sweet pea. Okay, we're not supposed to come up here. That's fair. I don't know. Like, so I'm just kind of wandering around. Is that or I'm missing something? But, like I said, it was up or... Yeah, there she is. Okay. Hey, kitten. Tiny, murderous kitten who wants to kill us all. <laughs> I really hate you, child. I'm really not a fan. Really? I don't think so. I have an armory on me. I'm not playing. Nope. No! Get that away from me! No, sweetie. Yeah, you definitely did that. Oh, shit. You're a hallucination, baby. No. Fuck you. Yeah, you're a hallucination. You can't fuck with me. Because, you know, <laughs> physical Mia. Let me guess. It's not gonna let me out? Uh. Shit. Okay, now I'm getting confused. As to what is near- oh, I guess it's... Back here, I'm supposed to follow where she went. Oh, well that's genuinely disturbing. Uh. Hi, giant child. Uh. It seems like... Uh, am I supposed to do something with that thing? Giant fucking kiddo? I don't think so. I think that's just the... Whatever. I'll just walk back the other way because I don't really care. I don't want to hurt you. Are you sure? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now the doors are actually open the right way. Yeah, please. I mean, you know. Fuck you. I will continue to stab you. Because I'm a terrible person. Fuck you. Oh. Well, this is seeming like something. That's not there to press anymore. The house is shaking. Do you think maybe I gotta go upstairs now? The fucking terrifyingly shaky house is... Not phenomenal. But it makes me think maybe something up here now. Like it's coming from the roof. Yep, there we go. Hey, beautiful. Stop with the flashes. Well, she's trying to stop me. Maybe now we go into the room. Nope. Hey, Ev. How you doing, kiddo? Stay away! 
I don't plan to. Oh, shit. Come on, kiddo. This ain't happening, sweet pea. Ooh, she is not happy with me. Oh, so that'll guard that, but I need to walk forward. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. So I can slowly fucking get closer, maybe. Or can I just, like... Fucking Jesus. Is my health actually going down? Yeah, okay. Drink your health, baby. I don't understand what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, seriously, though. What the fuck? Uh, holy crap, you're still playing? It's great. Things have gotten deeply confusing. No, guard, bitch, run, run. I knew that was gonna happen. Come on, get closer, 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 closer. Necrotoxin's bitch. Necrotoxin. Get her. But is this a deep hallucination? But hey, Mark, yeah, what's up? How you doing? It is the old lady. You motherfucker. You son of a bitch. Well, because you try to get us all to murder each other and cannibalize things. Specifically. Like, I don't have an issue. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sure it does, sweet pea. I can't even say I got an exam in a bit. Wish me luck. Alright. Good luck on your exam, Mark. You have a good time with that. Or do well, I guess. Best of luck. Oh, yeah. Oh, what in the fuckles? Oh, what in the fuck? Do you know my feeling about this? Burn it. Um, I don't see a real. This is disturbing. I don't think it wants me to burn it. Mm hmm. You appear to be getting closer to me than I'm distinctly comfortable with. Please, please, please die. Please die because I hate this a lot. I think he, she just ate me because I don't think I killed her in time. Okay, so I have to do a lot more damage than that. <laughs> Manage items. No, I'm okay. Alright. Evelyn, there's no escape from her. Just keep attacking her and stay at... We all got fun with them. No rounds. You can stop some from moving for a time using this advantage and fighting fast enemies. Okay. Well, let's do this. Alright, so we have to see this again. Huh. I can't believe there was a picture of the fucking thing with EO1. Ah. Oh. It's so fucking... Because I kept wondering why the old lady was everywhere, but she never talked or attacked me. She was always just around. And freaked me the fuck out, but it was like, clearly she was alive, and it's like... Wow. I think now is the time for the grenade launcher, baby. Open that info. Open that info. There you go, sweetie. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm just fucking loading it. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh shit, what's going on? Oh shit, what is going on? Oh, I appear to be flying in the sky. Did I just die? Come on! I hit her nice and good. Oh, <gasps> choppers! Which one is getting blown out of the sky? Oh, it's daybreak. It seems we've done it. Oh, <gasps> we did it. Oh, two rounds does it? Two rounds didn't do it, baby. Two rounds didn't. Please reload. Please reload. Please reload very quickly. Boom. Okay, just fucking unload, baby. Shit. I don't think I can get up, so... Boom! Oh shit. Okay. 
Fucking shit. Oh, this thing is fucking me up. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I think I failed. Come on, I hit her lots. Shit. Come on. No, don't take my gun. No, come on. Okay. That's fu Oh, fuck. Mm. No. Mm. Ouchie. Bananas. Ooh, ouchie bananas. Ooh, what the fuck is... Oh, that's my gun? Holy fuck. Use it? Ooh, okay. Maggie? Maggie num? Nope, something different. What the fuck is this? Boom. Fuck you. Lady. You are quite an angry duckling. You are not a nice lady. Oh, I think she's dying. Oh, I think I did it. I don't think I need all my rounds. Ooh, nuts. Yay. Oh, good. We murdered the scary lady. I think? She's doing the crumbles. She's doing the crumbles. In weird, blocky chunks. So apparently she, like, froze. And then shattered. And is now a series of blocks. Playing it safe. You know what? You know what? True. Just a memory now. Is it? Did we get saved? Were we kind children? Also, who saved me? Hello, friend. Maybe? Actually, I don't trust that you're a friend. Who fuck you? What up? <clears throat> Though I have a feeling I know. What's up? Uh huh. I'm Redfield. You seem significantly less bulked up than I've seen you previously. The fuck took you guys so long? I guess it's Chris. I was like, I vaguely recognized voice, but you know, unless that's not supposed to be. <gasps> What's going on? So I survived, but Mia didn't. He's gonna chuck the phone, is he? Oh, I kind of thought he would. I don't know why. So Mia didn't make it out? That really sucks. Are, are we sure of that? I was gonna say he's gonna... We Delightful. Well then. We did it. I beat the game. They say that when one door closes, mm -hmm. another opens. Well, it a did. door closed tonight. Mm -hmm. And what a long night it was. No, I'd say for Not Mia too. For me. Really? Oh, well, the family the was too. Here. True. So were the bakers. It was that thing. So what are you going to be doing Friday? I don't know. Made them that way. Not sure. Ooh. Ooh. But now Evelyn's dead. Um. And you um. To clean up the mess. Eh? Are you sure? Just come to terms with losing Especially the umbrella. The They're not very good. But now I've lost her again. Boys. And the only other door I can see. Right. Is closed. Yeah. Resident Evil 7. Biohazard. But yeah, I don't know what I'll be playing Friday. Now. Though I have Torment again, so maybe that. Oh shit, is this credits or are we seeing somebody? It's not quite as dead as we thought. Because let's be honest. I don't trust a damn thing. It's running evil. No one says fucking dead. I mean, I have an idea. I know you do. Yeah, it's just credits. Okay. I, you know what? The end of the game there got a lot less scary and a lot more I'm just fucking annoyed at these enemies and not knowing where to go. I will say one thing. I'm really glad we did at some point play as Mia. Just because, like... Um... I don't know. It's a weird thing. But I've kind of, like... Since basically every main 
title. Uh, you know, zero, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Even uh, Code Veronica. It's like you've always been able to play as like uh, a guy and a girl at some points throughout the game. And it's just nice that they kept with it and let us play as Mia and not just as Ethan. Like, I was kind of worried when it was just a thing of like Ethan. I was like, are you gonna, is there gonna be a woman? And I was like, hey, at least you got to play as Mia and do something cool as her. I'm sad she fucking died. Because that kind of sucks because she was awesome. And I don't really give a shit about Ethan as he was mostly a blanket <laughs> child, like just some random person that we don't know much about. So, you know. And it's probably more because we played as Ethan for more and got to see Mia and had her doing stuff. And it's like, you know. Anything Ethan did, it was like, oh, the player did it. You don't you associate it more with like you haven't gone through the motions than like, oh, the character did it, especially when it's like a first person perspective. So, and that is from my perspective anyway. But I like that. Fuck that old lady though. God damn, I can't believe that was it. Oh, actually, yeah. Hmm. There's no way I'll have that game next week, Mark. It has a lot of faults. Just to tell you now. Oh, man. I mean, that was good. Like, that almost feels like a really more self-contained moment compared to, like, the other ones where it's, like, massive outbreaks. This was really, uh... This was really contained. As in, like, kind of a smaller one. This still affected the area, but it wasn't like, hey, a town is gonna get nuked at the end. A la the fucking first forever in the series. Or then a, a fucking base. Off <laughs> fucking everywhere else. But I, I liked it. It was fun. It was fun. Um, I kind of wish it had more puzzles. Like, I, I really enjoyed the, the one sets of puzzles, but I just, I don't know, I, I really miss the, like, the older games and how they had puzzles where it's like, if you don't pay attention to notes, you're basically fucked. <laughs> it's like, you gotta remember shit, like, if you, you want it, just thought I'd tell you because it is fun, I think it is a decent trip, yeah, I just can't get it that fast. But, um. No, it's- I think it's just me missing certain ones where it's like, you know, certain puzzle games is a bit too much for me, but it's like ones where it's like, the information is there, but you feel like you should probably take notes on important info. I kind of- I kind of like that. Instead of the game kind of just like, giving it to you and it being like one puzzle in a while, it's like where something gets said and it's like, a while later it's like, oh, you gotta clue in, you gotta remember that. I kind of like that. Just as a thing. I mean, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea since, you know, you don't really want to Ethan Jack Baker, Lucas Baker thing. Yeah, so it was Chris Redfield. Alright. Nice. I was... I mean, okay, I know it seems bullshit now because, like, once it's been, once it's been d discovered, like, oh, you know, oh, I can retroactively say anything, but when... The ones we were hearing over the thing, I almost say that sounds like Chris. But I d but I didn't. I was like, well, well anyway, good night. Night Mark, have a good day doing your exam. But yeah. But I, d I did clue into the voice. I just wasn't sure enough to say anything, so it's like But again, now that I know it's like, oh I could just say anything. But uh no, that that was fun. Um the end loses the fear. Definitely. I mean, that's kind of a problem, I think, with certain horror things where it's going to explain everything through the whole time. Especially in a horror game where you typically overcome the horror in the game. It's like once everything's been laid out, once everything's been shown of how to take it down, it's like, well, the enemy isn't as terrifying when you know how to kill it. When you have a fucking armory in your backpack. When you have so much health you just cannot fucking die. I think playing that game... 
Oh, and the higher difficulties probably would be freakier, because it's like, oh shit, everything is going to kill me. I think it's just something 9% of horror games. Yeah. I mean, it's a tough thing, where it's like, even a lot of horror movies get it wrong, and it's like that tension of not knowing what it is, not knowing how to deal with it. You know, uh, most games and thing and movies and stuff, I find in the horror, like, as a horror, as a genre, it gets the first half right. Where it's like, because that's all the lead up, and then it's like, at the end, when you actually have to deal with it and get rid of it or survive it, it doesn't always work. Some really do. And I think... I think the best ones that I've seen have less weapons or a la earlier Resident Evils have severe ammo limitations where you feel like you can't fight everything because you you just will not survive because you won't have ammo like it's and like that is the thing where I was playing on easy so I had a lot of everything and so you know this is a good chance I took out that fear for myself by playing on easy because I didn't want that extra level of it but there are certain ones where it's like even on like say normal it's like there's still a lot and it's like when a horror game only super fulfills itself as being terrifying on its hardest difficulty it's like yeah well you know there's not horror games where on its hardest difficulty it becomes terrifying but that's because you're one shot from death <laughs> and it's like even a shooter that's not it's like oh my god everything's gonna murder me it's like someone comes behind you it's like suddenly fucking you're gonna get annihilated so horror i think works best where it's not combat dead space having ammo you can buy for real money <laughs> yeah i played dead space 3 with josh a while ago that was actually really fun not really scary but i don't co-op horror i don't I don't think co-op horror works great. Because as I've been saying playing this, if I had someone with me, I would feel a lot less scared. Like, isolation is a really good thing in horror. And it's like, even having a companion as an AI, it's like, I have someone. Someone's there. Like, you know, it's a lot less frightening when that's there. Don't get me started, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm a, I'm a coward when it comes to games like this. But, you know, I play some of them i watch playthroughs of a lot of them and i watch a lot of horror movies i'm a lot better at movies than games i just said she'll come be with you <laughs> oh, i'm not surprised but uh and it's like you know you see things and it's just you know eventually you, you get the genre because i love horror as a genre and i really love the zombie and post-apocalyptic stuff like oh it's it's exactly my thing which is weird, because I'm a coward. It just happens that I'm very interested in these things. And so, like Resident Evil at the start, where it was like, oh my god, like, it, was, it scared the shit out of me as a child. And maybe it was because I was a child. Maybe. But it was like, you know, the limited everything, limited space, limited saves, too. With the, with the ink ribbons. Where you couldn't save scum like this. And, um, you know, things could just go so bad. <clears throat> Like, I found that terrifying. I think Resident Evil 3 was the worst. And I think it was lucky that because it had predecessors that all seemed to go by the same rules. And then Resident Evil 3 kind of changed them a little. With Nemesis being able to just smash into places. Because before that, like, through windows was one thing. But, like, tyrants did not fucking chase you everywhere. I mean, too, you know, bit, but like, I don't know, Nemesis felt some more, some more like violently after you. And, like, four had the regenerators, nightmare fuel of nightmare fuel. Like, that was terrifying. It's like, Resident Evil series has, like, some really good monsters and stuff. And it, like, you know, it's funny where I'm like, oh, combat kind of ruins things. And yet in Resident Evil 4, there was fucking regenerators. I could have any weapon. It didn't fucking matter. Those things are going to haunt my nightmares no matter what I do. And it's like somehow... Yeah, you know what? Resident Evil 4 did it really well, actually. Of still having that terror in you. And causing it. Even though you could literally have so much stuff to kill everything with. It was like I could go in with the fucking Chicago typewriter. Infinite ammo. Blow everything away. And it's like still the chainsaw guys. The regenerators. Um, oh, the guy in the sewers. Ugh. There's just so much nasty shit in that game. So good. 
But, it, like, even earlier, there was some really good shit. And it's like, this was a good game, just... I think the demo played it as a different game than it was. Because it's like, there's that first chunk of the game that plays like that. Where it's like, you don't really have stuff, you're going around, you don't know what's coming at you. And it's like, once the they got shown, the game didn't quite keep as well. And it could be just because I could run away from everything really easily, because I'm uneasy. Like I said, my like most of my issues with this could just be because I played on an easy difficulty. But then again, if it lets me do it, you know. I'm sure even on harder difficulties, there's people who run away from everything, because I don't think you'd have the ammo to deal with it all. But, uh, yeah. I still really liked it, though. Like, I'm talking about every other game than this one. Normally I talk about the game that I've just played. I mean, I like it. I really like it. I thought it was good. Definitely freaked me out. Like, Resident Evil 6? Never really scared me. Resident Evil 5? Eh, moment or two. This game? No, this game got me. Definitely got me more than a few times. As you can all agree. And it had a really good atmosphere through, like, most of it. And then it's, like, right at the end, the fear stops. Which kind of makes sense, because it's like, you know, everyone's dead, and you just kind of want to fucking kill this person. So, you know, the tone changed where it needed to. It's just, you know, I prefer ones that keep it terrifying to the end. But still, really, really fucking good. I like it. Oh, I missed one file. That hurts. Six coins. A million mystery everywhere. Restarts nine. So, eight hours and 14 minutes. Nice. Really madhouse. Weapon Albert or will be added to the item box in the main game. Yes, hello. Additional free content. Not a hero. Coming spring 2017. Okay. Also, there was a bit where you yelled, oh, fuck me, and it sounded really sexual. <laughs> uh, I, I don't I don't doubt that. I'm pretty sure I used to yell that a couple times. Alright. The extra content. Is there any? The band footage. That's DLC that I do not have. Oh, more. What's more? PlayStation Star, are you Ned? I don't give a shit. Alright. <laughs> That's it. Resident Evil 7 has been completed. You know? I like it. I, li I like... I like what they did different. I like the game in general. I'm... I'm glad Resident Evil changed its way... From 5 and 6 especially. Being more isolated... It like it just this was this was a really good new way to do what they used to do. Like it, it feels like a new brand of their older stuff. Kind of I don't know. That's what it, to me. Just it's just different from the from any other one, which is nice. You know, the series has done a lot. It's good. I do love they changed everything games. Yeah. Yeah, I think there weren't as many changes from Zero to Code Veronica. Some. Some within it, but mo those... That whole series, Zero, One, Two, Three, Code Veronica... They all essentially feel the same. Like, I mean, it, it did go from Zero, One, Mansion, Mansion... To Raccoon City... To, uh... Thing Island... In Code Veronica... And then 4 changed everything, and then 5 changed stuff on that, and then 6 went really weird. Still loved it. And then this, and I really like it. Get ready to keep a franchise, but make it fresh. Yeah. I mean, there's still, like, the Revelations games, there's the Outbreak games, there's... There's a lot more than... I'm just talking the mainstream titles, like, the numbered and Code Veronica, because I really love that game. But yeah. Alright, I will stop. <laughs> don't get me started talking about Resident Evil, I don't stop. I love how I'm only doing it at the end of the game, when I've beaten it, that I'm just blabbing on about it because it's <laughs> I'm just excited. Because when I was playing, I think I was too tense to think, and now it's just like, oh man, I love this series. I'm such a fan. I mean, I'm not called Ari Nightmare on PSN for nothing. It's my fucking favorite series, and I still really love it. Missteps. Fucking weird shit it's done galore. I love it all. It's nonsense, and it's fantastic. So, alright. I'll be back. Friday, because, I mean, technically it's Thursday, but I don't stream Thursdays. So nothing later tonight, as it's 2 in the morning. <laughs> but uh, Friday, I'm not sure I'm going to play. 
But you were scared shitless a lot of time. That's very true. Yeah, it's very true. Where I just didn't... <laughs> I, I didn't have time to think because I was, like, in panic. I was in pure panic. Like I said, the game didn't retain that through the whole thing, but it was very good at it at certain points. But yeah, good night. Night, Mark. Night, everyone else. Hope you all have a good night. Get a good sleep. Have a great day tomorrow, and maybe see you another time.